It was all so surreal. It was an ordinary Tuesday afternoon, and my family had all gotten back from work and school, all except my older brother Matthew. We were all a little puzzled, but concluded that he was probably stuck at school with some project. I was on my way into the kitchen to help mom start dinner when I happened to glance out the window facing the backyard. Matthew was hanging from the ash tree, rope around his neck. I remember my father bursting out the back door, screaming my brother's name over and over again like a madman. My mother's desperate attempt to shield my sister from the window while she called for help. I was frozen to the ground, unable to move or even breathe. In the end, nothing we did made a difference. Matthew was dead. It didn't make any sense. Matthew had shown no signs of depression at all. He was just my happy-go-lucky, slightly nerdy brother. I couldn't believe it. His bag had been on the ground beneath the tree with his laptop still in it. The rope he had used was some of the decorative hemp rope from the garden deck. I heard the official say something about the noose being sloppily done, as if he was in a rush. A week later, my dad arranged for the city to come and cut the tree down. None of us could stand to look at it anymore. I stood in the yard and watched them do it. It was the tree that my sister used to climb in the summer with her obnoxious friends. The same tree I once sat brooding under, carving a crude skull into the bark. I was 14 and angry at the world a lot. They stripped it of its branches and heaved it onto a truck, leaving only a stump in the grass. The months went by and we tried our best to move on. I grew closer to my sister, perhaps inevitably. Spending time with her made things a little easier. There was a new playground just around the block that my sister loved going to, and I would go with her. Just sitting on a bench and hearing her laugh in the distance was soothing. That day, we'd been out there for so long that the sun had started to set. I swear to God, I was just playing some stupid game on my phone for a few minutes. When I looked up, the playground was quiet. My sister's body was slack as it hung from the top of the jungle gym, the plastic skipping rope wrapped tight around her neck. I ran, stumbling over my feet. When I reached out to grab her, I noticed the wood chip stuck in her clothes and under her sneakers. One of the chips bore the broken outline of a familiar, crude skull. 